Hi, everyone. We're going to continue with text analytics. And today, we're going to look at a few popular ways of visualizing text and text documents. So a common way to visualize text is using Word or Tech Cloud. And it's very popular because it's a very visually interesting way to look at the data, um, although it may not be very informative. And a typical way is you scale the word by its word count or popularity in your documents. So the larger it is, the more times it has appeared in. Um, so this is probably the most that you can get out of uh, Word Cloud. So uh, you don't really get any kind of structural information like word ordering and so on. Um, so the only thing that you get is mostly word count. A variation of it is the bubble chart. So instead of showing the word, now you scale bubbles based on the word count. So small variation, also pretty popular. So because you can look at it as in this example, pretty interesting to look at. So there are some other visualization techniques that can review more of the structure in your document. For example, one popular way is the word tree, where it can show you the hierarchy of the sentences um, in your document. So for example, here we're showing uh, all the sentences that start with the uh, word we. And then you can see gradually, uh, as you move to the right, you can see how many of those uh, sentences, the second word is must, how many of those sentences among that uh, we contain the word act, and so on. So essentially, you're looking at a hierarchy uh, that are built from your document collections. Another way to visualize text documents is using something we call a phrase net. So instead of hierarchy or tree, now we'll build a graph out of our documents. So specifically, we'll look at our relationships among words. So let's say in this example, we're interested in uh, the trigram uh, x and y. So that means word number one separated by a word n and then word number two. So that means the words in our graph are the words that you will see uh, in our documents. And then the, an edge will exist in this graph. Uh, let's, say, uh, let's say the uh, trigram father and mother then we'll see has a really thick edge, right, connecting father and mother in our example. That means there are many such trigrams that we can find uh, in our documents. And of course, you can uh, define the edge any way you want. So here in our example, we're saying x and y, but you can also say x of the y or x the y, uh, x and uh, y, and so on, or x even x space y, right? So that means that like, defining uh, different meaning for the edges, you can uh, end up getting different phrase nets of your documents. So you've seen this example uh, before, which is a termite system. Uh, and this is a canonical way of visualizing documents and topics. So here, each word would be a row, and a topic would be column. So you can imagine these columns are what you would get, let's say, from SVD. And the cell values could be uh, the values that SVD would give you. So essentially saying, let's say, for topic 17, which are the words that are most strongly associated with it. And you may recall that whenever you visualize any kind of matrices, uh, the ordering of the rows and columns are important. Right? On the left is without any sort of order ordering, and on the right is with ordering, uh, something called seriation. So, uh, so the columns and rows are grouped based on co-location. In this video, we'll look at a few popular ways of visualizing text, such as using matrix, using trees, and graphs.